Talmud Bavli, Gemara Brachot, Perik Shishi, Chapter 6, page, uh, Daf Min Gimel, uh, page 43. Just from the last few words of the previous page. Kam Ravada Bar Ahava, Ravada Bar Ahava rose, <coughs> or got up. Ada Kare La Kare, the Karakriya Achrina. He turned around the rent he had made to the back and rent another rent meaning uh, he had a tear in his um, in his garment at the front from uh, from his master that had died who was um, who was Rav um, and uh, and he had a, a tear he had made a tear and uh, he turned around and made another tear in the front. Amar, he said, Nach nafshe dirav uvirchat mezonan lo gamrinan. Rav has died and we have not learned birkat hamazon. Ad datahavu sava until a certain old man came along. Ramalehu matnitin abaraita pointed out to them the contradiction between the Mishnah and the Baraisa. Veshane lehu and resolved for them. Cave and Amre Nazil Venehu Lachma Beduch Palan Kehesebu Dame. Since they say, let us go and eat bread in such and such a place, it is as if they have reclined. <coughs> the Mishnah says, Hesebu Echad Mivarech. If uh, they reclined, one recites the blessing. Amar Rav Rav said, the Mishnah taught only about bread, which re, which requires reclining. But one does not require reclining. The Rabbi Yochanan Amar Rabbi Yochanan says, Even wine require, requires reclining. Ikada Amre, there are those who report. Amar Rav Rav said, Lo shano ela patitama dim hanya le hasiba. The Mishnah taught only bread for which reclining is effective. Aval, yain lo mahanya le hasiba, but wine reclining is ineffective. The Rabbi Yochanan Amar Rabbi Yochanan says, Afilu yain nami mahanya le hasiba, even for wine, reclining is effective. Metive, they challenged. Ketzad said to what is the procedure for reclining? Orchin nichnasin v'yoshin al gabe sasalin al gabe katedaraot. The guests enter and sit on benches and, and on chairs. Ad shikansu kulam until all of them enter. They would bring water before them. Each one would wash one would wash one hand. One was brought before them. Each one recites the blessing for himself. They would enter. Aluva Hesebu, they would enter and recline. Ubala Hemaim, and water was brought before them. Even though each one had already washed one hand, he would wash again both hands. Ubala Hemaim, one was brought before them. Even though each one had recited the blessing for himself, one recites the blessing for all of them. According to this version, that Rav said the Mishnah taught only bread, which requires reclining, but wine does not require reclining. Kasha the first part is difficult. The first part of the bracer is difficult. Shani Orchin de did Tayehu le me ekar? The guests, um, 
the guests uh, are different for their intent is to remove uh, is to remove themselves meaning uh, these guests would not be intended to stay for dinner. Uh, the reason Rav does not require reclining for wine is that it is considered to be a fixed session for drinking wine together, even if the participants do not recline. recline. However, in this case of the bride, so the drinkers are sitting here only temporarily, and they are planning to move into the main dining hall when the rest of the guests arrive. And according to the to this version, a second version that Rav said, the Mishnah taught only uh, only about bread, for which reclining is effective, but wine reclining is ineffective. Kasha Sefer, the last part of the last part is difficult. The last part of the bracer is difficult too. Shani Hatami is different there. De Migo de Ka Mahanya Le Hasiba Le Pat Mahanya Le Hasiba Leyain. For since the reclining is effective with regard to, to bread, the reclining is effective with regard to the wine. Uh, this is a case where they were reclining in, reclining in order to eat a meal. Balahem yom betoch hamazon, wine brought to them during the meal. Sha'alu et ben zoma, they asked ben zoma, mipnei ma'amru, what did they say? What did they say about this? Balahem yom betoch hamazon, kol echad ve'echad mevarech la'atzmo, wine is brought to them during the meal. Each one recites the blessing for himself. La'achar hamazon echad mevarech la'kulam. After the meal, one recites the blessing for all of them. Amalehem, he said to them, Ho'il ve'en beit ha'bliya panoi, because the throat is not clear of food during the meal. Vehu omer al ha'mugmar chulei, and he says about the incense, mi dekatane vehu omer al Hamugmar from that which the mission states and he says on the incense Mikol de Ika Adif Mine he can be inferred that there is uh, superior to him, meaning someone seated who is superior. Uh, But why? Since he washed his hands first at the end. Messiah lay le rav. This supports rav. The amar rav chia bar ashi amar rav. For rav chia bar ashi said in the name of rav. And I'll tell you that chila bar The one who washes his hands first at the end of the meal. Who mezuman livracha is the one designated to recite. The blessing, uh, the one designated to recite the Karamazon. Rav the Rabbi Chia Havu Yatve Kamet Rabbi Besudata. Rav and Rav Chia were sitting at a meal in the presence of Rabbi. Amale Rav, Rabbi Le Rav. Rabbi said to Rav, Kum Meshe Yedach, arise, wash your hands. Chaz Yedahava Meratet Rav Chia saw that Rav was agitated. Amale Rabbi Chia. Rabbi Chia said to him, Bar Pachte, son of nobles, Ayen Bivir Katamazona Ka'amalach, review the Bir Katamazon, is what he is saying to you. Ama Rabbi Zera, Ama Rabbi, Ama Rabba Bar Yirmiya, Rabbi Zera said in the name of Rabba Bar Yirmiya, Me'ematay Mevarachin Al Hareyach, from what point may we recite the blessing on the fragrance? That is the incense. Mishetale timarto. From when its column of smoke rises. Amale Rabbi Zera le Rava bar Yumia. Rabbi Zera said to Rava bar Yumia, Haloka arach. But he did not smell, meaning no pleasure has been derived. Amale, he said to Rabbi Zera, Uletamech hamotzi lechem in Haaretz dimivarech. But according to your reasoning, the blessing of Hamoti Lechem in Haaretz that one recites, Veha um, Loachal, but he did not eat. 
death or have any resulting blessing. Ela da'ate lamecha, rather, he intends to eat. Hacha nami da'ate laruche, he too, he intends to smell. Amar Rabbi Chia Berei da'aba bar Nachamani, Amar Rav Chista, Amar Rav. Rav Chia, the son of Abba, bar Nachmani, said in the name of Rav Chista, who said in the name of Rav. Amre la Amar Rav Chista Amar Zairi. Another say it was Rav Chista said in the name of Zairi. Kol ha mug marot mevachin alehim bore atze beshamayim. On all incense we recite the blessing, the one who creates fragrant woods. Chut me mushek mi mushk shemin chayahu. Except for musk. Which is an animal derivative, Shemavachin Alav Boremi Neve Samim, upon which we recite the blessing, the one who creates species of fragrance. Metive, <coughs> they challenged, Ein Mevachin Bore Atse. Excuse me, sorry. <coughs> I didn't realize we were all the way down the page, sorry. Metive, <coughs> they challenged. Ein vachin bore atzeve samim ela al afar simon shel beit rabbi. We recite the blessing, the one who creates fragrant fragrant woods, only on the balsam wood found in the household of Rebbe. The al afar simon shel beit kesar, and on the balsam wood found in the household of the of the of the Caesar. Um, Note on that, the households of Rebbe and Caesar are mentioned because balsam wood was generally found only in the houses of kings and noblemen. This is from Rashi. Um, and Rebbe was the Nasi and very wealthy. The al hahadas shebechol makom, and on the myrtle, um, on the myrtle branches found all over Tiyuvta, this is a refutation. Amalei Rav Chista, the Rav Yitzchak, Rav Chista said to Rav Yitzchak, Hai Mishcha de Afar Simon, this balsam oil, May Mevachin Il Lave, what blessing do we recite on it? Malei Rav Yitzchak said to him, Hachi Amar Rav Yehuda, so said Rav Yehuda, Boreshem and Arzeno, who creates the oil of our land. Amalei Rav Chista said to Rav Yitzchak, Bar minei de Rav Yehuda de Chaviva lei Eretz Yisrael, exclude the exclude Rav Yehuda, for the land of Israel is dear to him. The Chulei al Mamai, what uh, what is for everyone else? Amalei he said to him, Hachi Amar Rav Yochanan, so said Rav Yochanan, Borei Shem Arev, one who creates pleasant oil. Amar Ravada Bar Ahava, Ravada Bar Ahava said, Hai Keshata, this this costus. Um, so Kashata is called in English is Costas. Uh, this is the spice Koshet or Kosht. From Ra- that's what Rashi says, mentioned in Kareso 6a, as being one of the eleven spices contained in the Ketoret, the blend of incense offered up twice daily in the temple. Mevachin ilavei bore atzei besamim. We recite upon it the blessing, one who creates fragrance. Fragrant woods, aval mishcha kevisha lo, but oil in which uh, the costus is immersed, we do not recite. The Rav Kahana, our Rav Kahana says, afilu mishcha kevisha, even the oil in which it is immersed, aval mishcha tchina lo, but oil which is, um, but the oil in which the in which it is ground, we do not. Nehar da'ei amrei, the nehar da'ei say, afilu mishcha t'china, even the oil in which the costus is ground. I'm just going to turn the page. Top of the page, Mem Gimel Beit, 43b. Amar Rav Gidol Amar Rav, Rav Gidol said in the name of Rav, 
I seem like this jasmine. The Vahin Ila Vibore at Se Besami, and we recite over it the blessing to one who creates fragrant wood. Amarav, that is, we recite over it sent. Amarav Hananel, Amarav Rahananel said in the name of Rav, Hanechil Pede Yamer de Yamar, this sparknard, also referred to in the Talmud as Shibboleth Mered, one of 11 spices composing the Ketoret. Uh, it grows on stalks similar to flax. That's what Rashi says. Mevachin alaye hu bore atsi besamim. We recite over the blessing, the one who creates fragrant woods. Amar Marzutra. Marzutra said, Maikara, what verse is that ruling from? Vihi he elatan hadaga vitit menen befishte haet. And she brought them up to the roof and hid them in the woods of flax. Mav Meshashia Amar of Meshashia said, Hai Narkom, this Narkom, Tiginon Nita, Mevarchin, Ilave Bore, and Sebesamin. Of the garden variety, we recite over it the blessing to one who creates fragrant woods. Dedavra Bore, Isve, Besamin. Of the wild variety, we say the one who creates fragrant herbage. Amar Rav Sheshe, Rav Sheshe said, Hane Sigale, these violets, Mevachin Alayehu Bore Isve Besamin, we recite over them the blessing the one who creates fragrant herbage. Amar Rav Zotra, Rav Zotra said, Haiman de Morach Beet Rogahu O Bechavosh. Chavosha, one who smells an etrog or a quince. Omer Baruch Shenatan Reach Toiv Bepeirot says, Blessed who placed a good aroma into fruits. Into fruits. Amar Ravioda, Ravioda said, Haiman Denafik Beyome Nisan, one who goes out during the days of Nisan. Chaze ilane deka milav lavei and sees trees in bloom. Mer baruch shalofisa beolamokum. Blessed who did not leave anything lacking in his universe. Ovara ovara bo guyot tovot ilanot tovot who created created in good creatures and good trees. The hits naot by him in a way to cause mankind pleasure with them. Amar Rav Zutra Bar Tovia Amar Rav Rav Zutra Bar Tovia said in the name of Rav Minayin Shema Vachin Al Kareach From where do we know to recite a blessing over a fragrance? Shnei Mar for it stated Kol Hana Shema Tehela Ya Let every soul praise God Ezehu Davar Shema Neshema Nehemit Nehemit Nehemeinu Ve'in Hakuf Nehemi Nehemeinu what is something from which the soul derives pleasure, but the body does not derive pleasure? Hevei omer zehareya. We say that this is a fragrant smell. Vamar Rav Zutra Bar Tukya Amarav Rav Zutra Bar Tukya said in the name of Rav Atidim Bechurei Yisrael Shitznu Reyach Tov Kalevanon The young men of Israel will be in the future emit a fragrance like the Lebanon in the Lebanon forest. Shnema, as it says, Yelehu Yom Kotav Yehu Kazait Hogu Vereach Lo Kalevanon His young shall go forth in his beauty shall be like the olive tree and his aroma like the Lebanon. What does it mean? It's written, He made everything beautiful in its time. This teaches that the whole one blessed is he, who made everyone's craft beautiful in his eyes. Amar of Papa said, I know that I'm in shade. This reflects what people say. Tzalei le'korah le'davarachem. 
finger palm shirt on a pig. The evil detail of it and he will take his own meaning. Um, meaning uh, so out of the pleasure he derives from his occupation the pig will drag the palm shoot through the dung heap uh, this is referring to an, an elaboration on the wondrous phenomenon of each person having an innate inclination for one particular type of work over another the Amara Zutra Bhatovya Amara Amara Zutra Bhatovya Sanan Brav Avuka Kishnaim A torch is like two uh, meaning two people Vyareya Kishosha and the moon is like three Ibai Lehulay inquired Avuka Kishnaim Mehade Dide The torch is like two um, means together with him there are two or Dilma Avuka Kishnaim Levar Mid, uh, or perhaps the torch is like two beside uh, apart from him meaning it's either two people uh, two people or it's himself and two people Tashma come learn the Arach Kishlasha the moon is like three I Amrat Bishlama Hade Dide Shapir it is well if you say together with him, then that's fine. Ela i amrat levad midide, but if you say beside him, besides him, arba alamali, what do I need for people for? The hamamal, for did not the master say le had near air or mazik to one uh, to one uh, a demon appears and does harm. Lishnaim ni reva eno mazik to two it appears but does no harm. Lishlosha eno ni kol ikar to three it does not appear altogether. Ela lav shmamina avuka kishnaim mehad dize. Rather derived from this, a torch is like two together with him. Means uh, means that. Uh, uh, altogether, there are two people. Shmamina derive it from this. That's the conclusion of the Gemara. The Amar Rav Zutra Bar Tuvia, Amar Rav and Rav Zutra Bar Tuvia said in the name of Rav. The Amre La Amar Rav Chana Bar Bizna, Amar Rav Shimon Chasida. Another say it was Rav Chana Bar Bizna who said in the name of Rav Shimon Chasida. The Amre La Amar Rav Yochanan Mishum Rav Shimon Ben Yochai. Another say it was Rav Yochanan who said in the name of Rav Shimon Bar Yochai. Noach Lo La Adam. She appeal at Mulatok Kivshan Haesh. It is better that a person should cast himself into a fiery furnace, the Al Yalbin Pne Havero Berabin, than that he should shame his fellow in public. Menalan, from where do we know this? Mitama from Tamar. Shnemar, he motet the Gomer as she was taken out. Uh, meaning as she was taken out to be executed, uh, she sent uh, the items to her father in law Judah, uh, the pledges he had left with her, but she refused to shame him in public by naming him as the father of her child. They brought before him oil and a myrtle. Beit Shammai Omrim, Beit Shammai says, Mevarech al Hashem ever achar kach mevarech al hadas. He recites a blessing on the oil and afterwards he recites a blessing on the myrtle. Or Beit Hillel Omrim, Beit Hillel says, Mevarech al hadas vachar kach mevarech al Hashem. He recites the blessing on the myrtle and afterwards he recites the blessing on the oil. Amar Rabban Gamliel, said Rabban Gamliel, Ein achriya. I will decide. Shemen zachino lereicho vezachino lesichato. 
oil, we derive the pleasure of its fragrance, and we derive the pleasure of anointing with it. Hadas whereas metal, we, derive, we derive pleasure of its fragrance, but we do not derive the pleasure of anointing with it. Ama Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan said, Halakha kitirei hamachriya. The halakha is, in, halakha is in accordance with the words of the decider, meaning Rabban, Rabban Gamliel. Rav Papa Ikla Leve Rav Huna Bere de Rav Ika. Rav Papa visited the house of Rav Huna, the son of Rav Ika. Ayetu Lekam Ayetu Shemen Bahadas. They brought before them oil and metal. Shakal Rav Papa Bere Ahadas Beresha. Rav Papa took an aside of the blessing on the metal first. Nadal Berech Ashemen, Ashemen, and then recited the blessing on the oil. Amar Le, Rav Huna's Rav Huna, the son of Ravika, said to him, Losavar la mar halacha kedivrei hamachriya does master not hold that the law is in accordance with the words of the decider. Amalei, Rav Papa said to him, Hachi amar rava das said rava halacha kebet hilol. The law is in accordance with bet hilol. Velohi, but it is not so. Le'ishta mute nafshe huda avar. Rav Papa did so to extricate himself from the predicament, meaning uh, Rav Papa said uh, that Rav ruled in accordance with Beit Hillel to get himself out of this. Um, he was embarrassed at having acted incorrectly and fabricated the statement of Rav in order to save his, in order to save his, save face. That's what Rashi says. It seems in inconceivable that Rav Papa would concoct a false halacha to save face. The Tzlach and Rama Mipano therefore offer alternate explanations. Um, according to these texts, Rav did in fact say that the halacha is in accordance with Beit Hillel, and Rav Papa did in fact act correctly. The Shulchan Aruch and the Orachayim does rule in accordance with this text. <coughs> Tana Rabbanan, the rabbis taught in Brasa, have you lifnei hem shemen vayayin, they brought before them oil and wine. And Beit Shammai Omrim, Beit Shammai says, Bochez ha-shemen ve-yiminu ve-et ha-yayin bismolo, he holds the oil in his right hand and the wine in his left. Mevarech al ha Al Hashem in Bechazer, Umeverech Al Hayyim, he recites the blessing on the oil and then recites the blessing on the wine. This is referring to the wine that's drunk after a meal and not to the wine over the Berakat Mazon. Beit Hillel Omrim, Ochez et hayayin bi'imin ove et Hashem en bismolo. He holds the wine in his right hand and the oil in his left. Mevrach al hayayin vechozer mevrach al Hashem en. He recites the blessing on the wine and then recites the blessing on the oil. Ve'tacho berosh hashamrash. And he smears the oil. Uh, if there was oil on his hands, he smears the oil on the waiter's head. In Shamash, Talmud Chacham Ho, but if the waiter is a Torah scholar, Tachob HaKotel, he smears the oil on the wall. Mipnei Shegnai, Le Talmud Chacham Latzet Lashuk Keshehu Mevusam. For it is unbecoming for a Torah scholar to go out to the street perfume. Tamar Rabbanan, Shisha Dvarim Gnai Lo, Le Talmud Chacham, six things are unbecoming for a Torah scholar. Al Yetze Keshehu Mevusam Lashuk. He should not go out to the street perfumed. He should not go out uh, outside alone at night. He should not go outside with patched shoes. And he should not converse with a woman in the street. And he should not recline, uh, or meaning he should not dine, 
with a group of unknown, pe unknown people. The only can is the Akharama of the Vita Midrash, in which Shinoki delights to enter the study hall. The Yeshomrim, Yosh some say, Aflo Yasiya Bsiya Gasa. You should also not walk with large strides. The Al Yehalech Bekoma Zekufa, and he should not walk with an erect posture. Al Yetze Keshehumivu Sam Lashuk, he should not go out to the streets perfumed. Amar Rabbi Abba Bere de Rabbi Chia Bar Abba Amar Rabbi Yochanan Rabbi Abba the son of Rabbi Chia Bar Abba said in the name of Rabbi Yochanan. The Makom Shecha Shudin Al Mishkav Zachor to a place where the people are suspected of homosexuality. That is, where men wear perfume to entice other men. Amar Rav Sheshe Rav Sheshe said, Lo Amaran Elad Bivito. It was stated only about um, about his clothing, about wearing perfume on his clothing. Aval Bekufoze a me'abrale, but on his body the perspiration eliminates the scent of the perfume, and therefore no suspicion will arise. Amar Rav Papa, Rav Papa said, Usaro kevigdo dame, and his hair is the same as his clothing. The Amri la, and some say kegufo dame, his hair is the same as his body. The Aliyatayeh di Belayla, he should not go outside alone at night, Mishum Khashada, because it might raise suspicion, meaning he's engaged in promiscuous behaviour. The law Amaran Ella de lo Kuvia Le Idna, and this was stated only when he does not have a set time to study. Aval Avalk <coughs> Excuse me. Aval kviya le idna, but if he has set a time, meida yedia de le idne ka azil. It is common knowledge that he is going to his set, uh, to his set period, meaning he is going to study always at that time, and there is no suspicion. The ayat say b'minalim hametulaim, and he should not go outside with patched shoes. Sayale le Rabbi Chia Bar Abba. This supports Rabbi Chia Bar Abba. De Ama Rabbi Chia Bar Abba. For Rabbi Chia Bar Abba said, Ganai hu le Talmud Chacham sheyetsa be minalim mitulaim. It is unbecoming for a Torah scholar to go outside with patched shoes. Eni, is this so? The Ha Rabbi Chia Bar Abba napik. Why Rabbi Chia Bar Abba went out with patched shoes? Amar Mar Zutra bereiter Rav Nachman. Mar Zutra, the son of Rav Nachman, said. It's lay al gabeit lay when there is a patch on top of another patch. Velo amaran ella be fanta, and this was stated only when on the top part of the shoe it is visible. Aval be gilda late lanba, but when it's on on the sole there is no problem. Over fanta lo amran ella be orcha, and when it's on the top part of the shoe, and this ruling was stated only. When on the road, or when walking on the road, aval bevita late lanba. But inside the house, there is no problem. The law amaran ella be motel chama, and it is only stated in the summer season. Hag shamim late lanba, but in the rainy season, uh, when the patch is covered by mud and not visible, there is no problem. For alias apar im isha bashuk, and should not converse with a woman on the street. Amar Rav Chista, Rav Chista said, "Now fidel he ishto, even if she is his wife." Tanya Nami Hachid has also been to an embrace. A fidel he ishto, even if she is his wife. Va fidel he bito, and even if she is his daughter. Va fidel he achoto, and even if she is his sister. The fish ain't hakol bekiin bekrovotav, because not everyone is familiar with his relatives. The Alia said. Bechavura shel amei haaretz, and he should not recline with a group of amei haaretz of unlearned people. I mean, he shouldn't have to meet them. May tamer, what's the reason? Dilma ate the im shulche be vatrayevu. He might be drawn after them. The Ali Kanes Achrona Levet Midrash. He should not be allowed to enter the study hall. Mishum de Karu le Poshea. People will call him negligent. The Yeshomim Aflo Yasia Pesia Gasa, and some say he should also not walk with large strides. 
de Mangermar for the master said, Psia Gasai Matilda Gachad Mechamesh Melot, Umim or Enav Shel Adam, a long stride takes away one five hundredth of a person's eyesight. A note to this. Uh, only the first stride causes this amount of damage. Subsequent ones each take away one five hundredth of the remaining eyesight causing progressively smaller amounts of damage. Alternatively, the subsequent strides do not affect the eyesight, the eyesight at all. This is from a Tosafot to Tanit Tembe. For an average sized person, a regular stride measures one amma, which is approximately one and a half to two feet. Anything more is considered a large stride and should be avoided. May to Kante, what is the remedy? Lehadre Bikidusha Deve Shimshe. You can restore it by evening Kidush, meaning by drinking, uh, by drinking the Shabbos Kiddush wine on Friday night. The Ali Halech Bekomezikofa, he should not walk with an erect posture. De Amar Mar, the Master said, Kame Halech Bekomezikofa, Philo Arba Amot, he who walks with an erect posture, even for Amot, Ki Ilu Dochek Ragle Shina. Because it is as if it pushes the feet of the Divine of the Shina of the Divine Presence, Dichtiv, as it's written, Melanchol Haaretz Kevado, the entire world is full of his glory. The verse indicates that God's presence extends downwards to this world. One who draws himself to his full heart appears to be pressing against the Divine Presence. As a rule, the place that person occupies is considered to reach far and much in every direction from where he stands. Thus, a person who walks through these four are not in an erect position, thereby acting as if that place belongs to him, gives the impression that gives the impression that the divine presence is not there.